Let's take a look at another theorem here. I'm not going to actually prove this one. It's not a very difficult proof, but it also doesn't really show anything all that useful. Let's suppose we have a finite abelian group and let P be a prime that divides the order of G. Then G has to have an element of that order. Now that's only true for primes. So if we have a group and the order of G is equal to say 20, we know there's an element A with A squared equal to E. We know there's an element A with A to the fifth equal to E. However, that doesn't mean that we've got an element of order four. There may or may not be an element of order four. I don't want to write it as a to the four equals e. We know that has to be true because if you've got an order two element, you've got something with a to the fourth equals e. But we don't know if we've got an element that the fourth power is the lowest power that gives us the identity. Any prime that divides the order, we know we've got an element of that order. But non-primes that divide the order, we may or may not. Another simple little example, let's say I've got a group, the order of the group is equal to, say, 33. Now in this case, it's interesting because 33 is just 3 times 11. We know we have an order 3 element. We know we have an order 11 element. we may or may not have an element of order 33. Now, actually, I think you're going to find out that we do, in fact, have an element of order 33. That's part of the homework. But, as it is, we only know from this theorem the 3 and the 11. 